guys, welcome back to my channel. So recently on my community tab, I asked you guys if you wanted to see a sort of like pack with me video. Mike and I are going on a trip. Well, by the time you see this, we'll be like halfway done with our trip, but we are going on a trip like a 10 day trip. So I had to pack a lot of makeup and I asked you guys if you would want to see what I was packing and like 97% of you guys said yes. So that is what we are here to do today. We're doing a pack with me video. This whole thing is filled with makeup, enough makeup to last me for a 10 day trip. And we're gonna go through it and I'm gonna show you what I am packing. Before I get started, don't forget I upload every Tuesday, Thursday and Sunday for you guys. If you like this video while you're watching it, you know what to do. Give it a big thumbs up. It really does help me out. And other than that, if you're excited and you want to see what I am packing, all of the makeup I am packing, then let's go ahead and get started. So as you can see, this baby is like full to the brim. I just got this carrying case on Amazon. I talk about it in my Amazon favorites video that I put up a while ago now, but I can link that down below for you in case you want to check it out. I'm, I guess I will go in order of application. Let's do that. So first, I always do my eyes first. So I went ahead and packed my MAC Paint Pot and my NYX Glitter Primer because I literally cannot do my eyes without this. And then for eyeshadow, I'm taking three. Is that excessive? Probably, probably, but that's what I'm doing. So the first one I am taking is the Natasha Denona Mini Nude Palette. This is just a really good like basic go-to palette. This will be the type of tones that I'm going to want to gravitate towards. I'm also taking my ColourPop That's Taupe Palette. This is nice neutrals with a warm tone, sort of warm tones. And then this is neutrals that are cool toned. So that way, if I want warm tone, cool tone, doesn't matter what outfit I am wearing, I can have eyeshadow that matches it. I just love this palette so, so much. I'm so excited I'm bringing that. And then the last eyeshadow palette I am bringing is my Divine Skies eyeshadow palette in the shade Magic Hour from M Cosmetics. So those other two are just nice neutral eyeshadows. I can't get this open. And then this one is my pinky tones that I would need because I love pink eyeshadow and I just think it goes with a lot of outfits and I think it goes really well with my skin tone, my hair and all of that. So I've got my warm tone neutrals, my cool tone neutrals, and then my pops of pink. I will say, I thought about bringing other palettes, like more colorful palettes, but honestly, I know myself and on vacation, I really tend to stick to very minimal, simple eye looks. When I'm there, I just, I don't know, I love doing makeup and I love applying makeup, don't get me wrong, but when I'm on vacation, I just wanna relax and spend time with whoever I'm on vacation with this time. It is my husband and I just wanna like spend time with him and I don't wanna worry about like being in the bathroom for like an hour doing my makeup, you know what I mean? We're going on a beach vacation, so we're gonna be on the beach pretty much all day. We're gonna come in, get ready, and then probably go out to dinner. So I'm not gonna wanna be spending like a ton of time on my makeup. So that's why I picked those three palettes. They're very simple, minimal, I can just get the job done. I'll get pretty eye looks out of it and it'll match pretty much any outfit that I want to bring. Also, side note, I had a very, very sweet subscriber comment on that community tab question and tell me that she wants to see some of the outfits I am taking. She said she thinks I have cute style, which thank you so, so much. I don't think I have cute style. I feel like I literally am like a t-shirt and jeans kind of girl and that's like all I wear. I don't really like dresses or skirts or anything like that. Um, but I just like cannot get my life together. So I appreciate, I appreciate you wanting to see my outfits that I'm taking, but I have no idea what I'm taking yet. And I'll probably pack it Friday night, like last second, we're leaving Saturday. Um, I'm filming this on a Wednesday. You won't see it till next week though. It doesn't matter. You don't care. But um, yeah, I just like, I can't get my life together enough to do that. Thank you so much to the subscriber who suggested that. I wanted to see what outfits I'm packing, but like maybe one day, <laughs> maybe one day I'll have my life together enough, maybe one vacation in the future so I can do that. But right now, I don't have anything packed. So anyways, moving on. Next up, what do I do? Uh, primer. So for primers, I'm taking two. So I'm gonna take my Hourglass Veil Mineral Primer Oil Free Broad Spectrum SPF 15. I'm also taking my miniature Tatcha the Liquid Silk Canvas. So since we're going on a more beach vacation, I know it's going to be very hot. We're actually going to North Carolina. We're going to Asheville, North Carolina for the weekend, and then we're going to a beach in North Carolina for like the rest of the week. But I know where it's gonna be like hot and humid, and I'm gonna want these two primers that like make my makeup last for a really long time and stay on my face. And then for foundations, I'm also taking three foundations, which I Again, 
is probably excessive. However, I'm taking my Physician's Formula Butter Believe It Foundation and Concealer because I just love this foundation so much and it's very full coverage. I'm also taking my ColourPop Pretty Fresh Foundation. So this one is like super, super full coverage. This one is a little less full coverage. It has enough coverage for me, but it's still an amazing one. These two are like my go-to favorite foundations right now. And then the third one I'm taking is my Pure 4-in-1 Love Your Selfie Foundation. And I'm taking my LP4 shade because this is like probably the darkest foundation I own as it's like literally still so incredibly light, but I am a very fair girl as you guys know. But I'm bringing this one to like mix into these to darken them up to match me as I get a little tanner throughout the week and all of that. So that is why I'm taking three. I know it's a lot for a 10 day trip, but, or nine day trip, I guess. I keep saying 10, but I think it's nine. Anyways, I know it's a lot, but. Okay, so next up for concealer, I'm only taking two. And the one I'm taking is my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealer. I'm in the shade Vanilla. This is just the perfect concealer to spot conceal anything I would need to cover up. And then for under my eyes, I'm taking my Shiseido. Um, you think I would have this memorized by now because it's like one of my favorites. Synchro Skin Self Refreshing Concealer. I am in the shade 101 Fair. This is just one of my favorite concealers ever. It like hardly ever creases on me. It might be a little light, honestly, but we're gonna go with it. We're gonna go with it. And for setting powder, I am only taking one. I'm taking my Cover FX Perfect Setting Powder in the shade uh, Translucent Light. If you can tell, I'm about halfway done. I love this powder, but I just kind of want to like use it up and get it out of my collection just because I have quite a few other powders in my collection and I have a few that I want to try, but I don't want to buy more powder until I use one up. So um, this one's about halfway done and I'm just going to take this and solely this one to use on the trip. Plus I really love it. It's a great setting powder. Then for bronzer, I'm also only taking one bronzer. My Charlotte Tilbury one. I have to, you guys. I just love it so stinking much. The Airbrush Bronzer in the shade 2 Medium. It's just so good. I thought about bringing another one. I contemplated it back and forth, back and forth. And then I was like, Emily, just use one. Just take this one. Love on this one all week because it is such a good bronzer. It's beautiful on the skin. It's good tone. And I feel like it's a good, it'll be a good tone like now when I'm a little bit more fair. And then if I get sun throughout the week, this will also like go with that as well. I'm not planning on getting too, too much sun because your girl is going to slather herself in SPF, but still, I think that would work for any shade of tanness that I am throughout the week. Then for blush, I'm also taking three blushes. <laughs> Again, I know that's probably excessive, but I am. So I'm taking two elf ones and an hourglass one. So these are their primer infused blushes. Then I have the shade Always Cheeky and Always Hazy. I feel like this will be good for any of like the neutral, like warm tone eye looks I want to do. This will be nice and good for just pink tone looks. It's nice and corally. And then the hourglass one I'm taking is my mini one in diffused heat. And I feel like this is just another like beautiful, bright, corally cheek that will go with all three really of the eyeshadow palettes that I'm packing, but I just, I like to have options. Eyeshadow and blush are the things that I really like to like pair together and make sure they go together very, very nicely. So that's why I need three eyeshadow palettes, three blushes. Then for highlight, I'm actually only taking one highlight. I'm gonna take my Nabla Skin Glazing Highlight in the shade Ozone. It's just such a good one. I totally lied to you. I totally just lied to you. I was going to just take one, but I do have another one. But this is just such a beautiful highlight. I love it so much. And it's just a nice champagne type of shade. I did end up putting like last minute in another highlight and I'm going to take my little baby Becca Champagne Pop Highlighter just because this is more of a gold tone highlight. So the novel one is like champagne-y, kind of more icy, and this is just more gold tone. So again, I've got options based off like what blush, what eyeshadow, what outfit I'm wearing, all of the above. <laughs> And for brows, I'm taking my Urban Decay Brow Blade. This is in the shade Neutral Nana. I'm taking this because it's got a pencil on one side and then a pen on the other. That way I have both options in case I want them. And then I am gonna go ahead and take my little baby Anastasia Beverly Hills Clear Brow Gel. This is like, it's been around forever. And uh, this little baby has just been going so, so long. And I'm kind of nervous that it's gonna run out like during my trip, but I feel like that's the risk I'm willing to take because I don't want to like take my brand new one. And so yeah, I'm just going to take this and hopefully it doesn't run out during my trip because it's getting old. I've had it forever. And then for eyeliner, I just went ahead and took my Benefit Roller Liner. This is the brown shade. This is really like the only liquid liner I use to do wings. I just like the way a brown liquid liner looks more than black. I feel like it just looks a little softer, a little less harsh. And I've just really been loving brown eyeliner. And then I'm also going to take my Makeup by Mario Master Matte Brightening Pencil in the shade Light One. This is pretty much the only 
liner I use to line my waterline on the bottom to brighten my eyes and just make them look a little bit bigger. And then for mascara, the only one I'm taking is my Tarte Man Eater. I have been obsessed with this for years and I'm just, I'm still obsessed with this. I hadn't had this in my collection for so long. It was just sitting back there like waiting for me to open it and use it. And I opened it recently and I am like reminded how much I love this mascara and how good it is and how just beautiful it makes my lashes look. So this is the only one I am taking. I'm not even taking a primer or anything. Like solely relying on that baby because it's that good. Then next up for setting spray. We're almost done. For setting spray, I'm going to take two little mini guys also. I'm going to take my mini The Pore Professional Super Setter by Benefit and then my mini Urban Decay All Nighter. Both of these are just really good at like locking down your makeup. This is definitely one that like if I know we're going to maybe be doing something like outside throughout the day and like walking around, shopping, anything like that, I'm going to definitely use this. And then this one is just really good at like melting your makeup together. Both of these are really great setting sprays. I don't plan on using them in conjunction, but maybe I will like put this one on first and this one last, but these are both just really good. They make your makeup last for a long time. And trust me, in the North Carolina heat and humidity, I'm sure I'm going to need that. <laughs> Alrighty, I think the last category I have is lips. So I am going to take quite a few lip options just because again, I want options. So the first combination I'm taking is the one that I like cannot stop wearing. And it's my KKW Beauty Nude One Lip Liner and then my Huda, I almost said Chelbury, my Huda um, Cream Lipstick in the shade Impress. This combination is just so good and it's like a good nude combination. And then for a little bit more of a pinky sort of option for me, I'm going to take my Carly Bible set. So this is the lip liner in the shade AI and then the lipstick in the shade Taurus. So this is just more of like a little pinky of a shade. It's definitely still nude, but it's pinkier. And then for a pop of color, in case I want to get spicy and sassy and do a bold lip point down there, I'm going to take my Pixie by Petra and Miriam Aquilage. This is their uh, liquid lipstick and it's in the shade Coral Bang. It's just like my favorite go-to bold lip. I love it so, so much. It's a beautiful coral shade that just is like eye catching and head turning and I love it so much. And then I'm also going to end up taking my Tower 28. This is their Shine On Lip Jelly Gloss in the shade Oat. As I'm looking at this, I might end up taking um, one of my Smashbox auditions or maybe my Kylie Cosmetics Creme Brulee just because I just love those lipsticks so much and they're such good go-tos. So I might end up popping one of those in there too. And then also like my Burt's Bees Chapstick, my other chapstick that I think it's, is it Banana Jack? I think is the um, brand I have. That's supposed to be like, um, it's like a SPF chapstick. I think it's SPF 45 for your lips. So I will also be taking those, but they're in my purse. I think that was it. The only other two things in here are my um, lash curler and my lash comb because I'm gonna need those. And then also my color switch because I can't live without that either. And I also haven't packed my brushes yet. They're all sitting back there. I'm like debating if I have enough time to wash them before I take them. I probably should. I am the worst at cleaning my makeup brushes and washing them. So I should wash them before I go. It's like, it's so much work <laughs> to get prepared to go on vacation. It's crazy. Like we're thinking about getting everything ready for the cat and I have to clean my car that we're taking and we have to pack everything and make sure the house is good. My cat's to make sure he mows before we go. Like there's just, <laughs> there's so much to do to get ready to go on a nice relaxing vacation. <laughs> um, so yeah. We still have a lot to do, so I don't know if I'm going to get to it. But anyways, they will also fit in here. It has like a really um, awesome spot at the top here <laughs> for my brushes that they go right there. So it's like perfect. I love this makeup bag a lot. But that was it, you guys. That was all the makeup that I'm packing for our upcoming trip. I am so excited. Obviously, we're not the only ones who had our vacations canceled last year um, due to the pandemic. So we're excited for this. We, it'll be over our two-year wedding anniversary, so that'll be fun and it'll be nice to just get away and have something fun to do. But I'm a little nervous, not gonna lie. I'm a little nervous to be away from home for that long and be away from my cat. I'm gonna miss him so much. But anyways, for the third time, this is everything I'm packing for our trip. I hope this was fun. I hope you enjoyed watching it while you did. If you made it to the end of this video, thank you so much. You're awesome and I love you. Please subscribe if you have not yet and I hope to see you in my next video. Bye guys.